Welcome to week three and this course cannot be better in week three and thank you for really participating in our discuss forum and in this section of week three what is we are going to do we are going to go even more deeper so rabbit you're back and um, i was really happy to see you the other week and um, you're practicing hard late nights coding and development and finally i was happy with rabbit and um, that's that's pretty good rabbit and uh, in week three we both prepared the content for you and one of the feedback what i got from both rabbit and all of our user is they are 20 percent of the features of WebID as a developer which they will be using and they are using those features 80 percent of the time so it's again 80 20 rule in the web id as well so rabbit i understand that you are mostly concerned about development of application in erp and you want to basically go ahead and start a new project and work on the views and basically work on the data binding model services and extension and also sometimes you want to really understand how to test the application with the responsiveness and debug a lot so these are the 20 percent of the features which rabbit or me or any other developer who will be using web id will be using 80 percent of the time what we are trying to do here is we are trying to focus our attention on that this is the small things which when doesn't happen you become annoying and that's what the goal here is in the week three we go deeper we go into custom mode and what basically i will be trying to do here in week three is we will start from a greenfield implementation total scratch no template we'll see how this manifest new app and component.js are all linked and when we talk about these three important file they basically define or start the application there are a lot of things which happens at the back end. When I fire my application, this is your application running in the browser or mobile. And this thing which is in the back will be defined by your component.js, your manifest.json, and your new app.json. So these are the most important file and these are the JSON structures what we have. And sometimes as a developer, we focus our attention more on the view and the controller. I want to build a view in XML. I want to have the controller code in JavaScript and the component. I will just copy it from some code and then I will have my application ready. But what goes inside this three important file is sometimes more crucial than your entire application because your integration are here. When you try to extend your application, the setting of routes are here. So these three files, what I consider are the most important also comparing it to view and controller you should be also looking and learning this part from a very detailed level and that will be the objective within this section i'm going to go to the custom mode and we are going to encounter a lot of bugs as well and um, i'm going to show you exactly how each things will be utilized so let's start in the next section and learn about all these three files in overview mode and then we will go into practical stop that practical mode and then we will try to learn hands-on way as well so join us for the week three and also for the week four you can suggest us topics plus we would be also adding any on-demand topics if those are left and you are having issues or difficulty to understand or go through and implement those topics also so we will be taking that as well and that's only for premium subscribers and people who have purchased the web id course from ui5cn so let's go ahead and see this web ID on details for the total custom mode. So I think Rabbit, you are totally ready for that because um, the last week it was really a true story and um, we were having this uh, development and entire day we did nothing. We just went inside the file. We were trying to find out from where my data was loading and it was one single type of the slash and then the entire day I was looking there, here, and here, and here, and I was not able to find. And I don't want you to go into that phase again. So in this section, we will be trying to keep things one at a time 
simple, straightforward, so you can develop and face no hiccups in the time of development and customization of your Fury application or UI5 application. So let's go ahead and do that.